What's going on, people? This is your boy Ron Zabi coming to you from DTLA, that's downtown Los Angeles, and welcome to this week's edition of Ronza's Rent. And y'all go ahead and subscribe and click on that bell and do what you need to do so you can make sure that you will get notification each and every time I upload a new video. Now, I know some of y'all going to be asking what cocktail is this. This is the one that I call Ronza's Spring Break Punch. Go ahead and get that recipe out there on Vimeo Demand. Take a look out there, and you'll be able to find this amazing recipe. But that's not what the hell we're here to talk about. Now, I know it's been a minute. I've been, I've been on a little small hiatus, but I'm back. I'm back. I know people been hitting me up, and thank y'all for checking on me just to make sure that I'm still going to be doing these rants. Yep, these rants are coming in full effect. I just had a lot going on at that time. But the rants are back in full effect. So fear not if you got something you want to talk about or you just want to get off your chest and you can't motherfucking say it, hit me up and I'll put a motherfucking rant together and we'll say it. But I'm here to talk about, as my first rant, I'm here to give y'all a nice quick movie review of Coming to America. And then we're going to talk about some of the weird motherfuckers that call themselves didn't like it. Yeah, y'all weird. Overall, to me, the movie was amazing. I laughed from beginning to the motherfucking end. I'm trying to tell you. It was a good-ass movie to me. I'm talking about they, 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 they went all the way back to, to Queens and all that good shit. Stopped by the barber shop. You had the old... Barbers in there. You had the old boy. Who is that? What is that? Velvet Kunta. Yeah. So they was glad to see him come on back and all that good shit. You had the queen. Oh, come on now. Oh, Lisa was playing. The qu Lisa looking good as the queen. Come on now. <clears throat> she was doing her thing. Everything was good. I'm trying to tell you. He found his son. He probably got raped a little bit, but hey. He, he, he ended up with his son at the ordeal and all that good stuff. I'm talking about everything from him trying to learn about uh, his culture and learn and find out that he was a, a prince of and an heir to the throne of Zamunda. I'm talking about everything. Then he, he gets to meet his new wife. I'm trying to tell you that Tiana. She came in there with a little, I don't know what kind of walk she was. Look like she was in a dress made out of circle, but her ass stayed within the confined boundaries of that motherfucking surf circle. So hey, I guess you know, even if you in the circle you can you ain't got to throw that ass. She was walking it and throwing it in that little old circle and she was motherfucking looking good. I'm trying to tell you the whole movie was just 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 great. Then you got Wesley let me tell you something it was good to see Wesley Snipes in a movie. Hadn't seen Wesley Dark Ass in a movie in quite some time and he had his ass sitting there and he did a pretty good job. He kept me laughing the whole time. He had a whole motherfucking squad running around there with him. I'm trying to tell you, Wesley had a couple of fraternities rolling around with him every damn where he go. He had the alphas and omega. That motherfucker was walking around like he was the beginning and the whole motherfucking end. But I'm trying to tell you, they was with him. I mean, the movie is just fantastic to me. I'm trying to tell you the wedding scene, uh, him learning the 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 the, the, the heir the prince. He had to, he found love just like his dad did on his own. But I don't know. I would have to take both of them. You know, we 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 in Africa. They known to have multiple motherfucking wives. So I probably would have to take Tiana. You know, she'd have probably had been my second wife. You know, the, the love wife would have been the first one, but the other one would have been just the second wife. And, and that's how I would have called it. Even had Vanessa Bell Calloway up, she was still barking like a damn dog. She was Wesley's sister. That shit tickled me. And I finally released the curse off of her ass for that shit. Even the king was in the building. Jaffa Jofa, ruler of, of, of Zamunda. Who told you that? You know, that's my favorite part from, from, from the first from the first movie. I'm trying to say, but he was up in there doing his thing. But like I said, over and all, it was a... It was an amazing movie. I'm trying to tell you. But I'm trying to get to these weird motherfuckers that say they didn't like the movie. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, y'all weird. I saw quite a few people posting shit about the movie. Talking about it wasn't a good movie. I, I, I don't know if I liked the movie. It wasn't like the first. Well, hell, it wasn't supposed to be like the first. That's why I call it a fucking sequel. Because it's not the first movie. It ain't the first motherfucking movie. So y'all, y'all need to do better than what the fuck you're doing. But then I, I I don't know what there was not to like about the motherfucking movie. Then some people, oh, it ain't gonna be no classic like the first one. 
How you got a, a movie that's got classic motherfucking actors in it? They can't be a class. You got Eddie Murphy or Senio Hall. You got some great uh, comedians in there. You had uh, Linnell up in there, Leslie up in there. You had motherfucking Tracy Morgan up in that motherfucker. You had uh, other actors like James Earl Jones up in that motherfucker. You, Gladys Knight made a motherfucking appearance. In Vogue make an appearance. Salt and Pepper. So you got motherfucking legends in the motherfucking movie. Y'all trying to tell me that it ain't going to be no classic. Well, whether it's a classic or not, it was still a great motherfucking movie. And to you, all you weird motherfuckers, yeah, I'm talking about y'all. You weird. And and when I say you weird, that don't mean a, it, it's a bad thing. You just a weird motherfucker. All the posts that I saw from people on Facebook that said something negative about the movie, you was somebody I consider to be motherfucking weird. You always have been weird. You ain't just not became weird. You've always been motherfucking weird. And I know a lot of people, oh my God, Ron, you, you can't be shaming people for their opinion. Well, guess what? I'm not shaming no motherfucker about their opinion. Which don't be coming for me for my motherfucking opinion. Because my motherfucking opinion still stands. They some weird motherfuckers. And that's fine. We love y'all weird, weird asses. Because if we didn't, we wouldn't even be fucking with you. Even on social media. But we love, I, I just got a couple that I saw that just stood out to me. That I thought was like, okay, hilarious. This one motherfucker, she said... Hey guys, I hate to say it, but I don't really like coming to America too. And then she got a, her face hidden and, and they want to know if she the only one. No, you're not the only one. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there in the weird bucket. You part of the weird bucket. You announced that you was in the weird bucket. And there's so motherfucking K. Everybody that commented on your shit, they weird too. And that's cool. And one stupid motherfucker said that she didn't like it because it was too family oriented. I think she wanted to look for boys in the hoods or some shit like that. This ain't that type of... The first one was a motherfucking family movie. What, what, what wasn't family? What you wanted to see the lion eat the motherfucking prince or some shit? He got out of the, cat, out the cage and lying that motherfucker with cat food. And that motherfucker turned into a real cat. And he started enjoying the motherfucking cat food. And he was able to get the whiskers so he can uh, complete his challenge in order to uh, get to the motherfucking throne. But what you wanted to see the motherfucker eating up or some shit? Is that what you was looking for? She wanted a hood movie. Well, next time you want a hood movie, you, you let them know that, hey, create some hood shit, and then we'll go see it. But again, your ass in the weird bucket. Uh, we had one motherfucker. Uh, he talked talking about, it's corny. Yep, just like you. Just like your ass. Corny as fuck. You ain't just not been corny ever since I met you. You was corny. But you, you know it's okay to be corny. Because y'all got a motherfucker and you corny and weird. You corny and motherfucking weird, and you in the weird bucket. You always have been in the weird bucket, but I'm just making a formal motherfucking announcement that you in the weird bucket. And it's okay, because you ain't just not became weird. You always have been weird. And this other dumbass said it was a fucking musical. I don't know how he came up with that one. Maybe his ass like to dance and float around like a motherfucking Tinkerbell or a butterfly. I don't fucking know what to tell you, but it wasn't no motherfucking musical. It was a great motherfucking uh, film. Most of you motherfuckers probably ain't going to like too many movies no way. Because you're all weird and you're corny. And that's cool. Just go somewhere in, in Weirdville or, or get your weird bucket and whatever and do y'all thing. I had one friend, she said she didn't like the movie, but she, you know, she said she guess she was in the weird bucket. And I appreciate her for owning the fact that she was in the motherfucking weird bucket. She put the buckets on her head and stayed motherfucking weird. And, and, but, you know, I ain't taking shit from her because we still love her weird ass too. I could probably say her name right here in this fucking video and she wouldn't even be mad. Because we could fucking cool like that. I love her weird ass all the motherfucking same. Now, if you motherfuckers ain't watched the film by yet and they putting spoilers out there... Don't worry about it. It's too late. The motherfucking movie been out four, five, six days now. They dropped it a day early. I said, okay, I ain't going to say shit about the movie. I get no motherfucking spoilers until uh, uh, at least by Monday, Tuesday. So it's motherfucking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, motherfucker. If you hadn't watched it now, stay your ass off of social media because the spoilers are coming. And again, I enjoyed the movie. I laughed from beginning to the motherfucking end, had myself a blast, and I'm going to watch that motherfucker again and again and again and again and again and again. I guess for me, that motherfucker going to be a comma classic, but that's just my motherfucking opinion. I'm just one motherfucker. I don't know shit about shit. Well, sometimes I do, but I'm going to still say some shit when the fuck I need to say it. 
But again, this has been your boy Ronza B. Again, coming to you from DTLA. Make sure you guys are out there subscribing, clicking on that bell, and comment with me in the comment section of all my videos. And don't forget that your comment or your post just might become one of Ronza's rants. Y'all be good. I got to do some editing. Peace out.